Hello and welcome, it's Leanne Peard, Social Media Specialist. And if you're watching this video, I'm going to show you how to actually create the social media strategy that you need for your business to be successful. Or if you're wanting to become a social media manager like the training that we offer, then this will definitely help you also. ultimate strategy for anybody that you're working with. So my name is Leanne Peard, thank you very much for joining me and as I said in this video we're going to talk about how to create the ultimate social media strategy. Look social media is here to stay, gone are the days where businesses thought Facebook and other social media platforms are kids trying to kill time. Today, businesses actually need to have a social media presence. They need to be on social media platforms where they can showcase their business, their products and their services. Think about it. These markets, if I was to put that into inverted commas, that have an excess of 2 billion people or so, to overlook these platforms is to be naive to say the least. For me, I absolutely agree where you're coming from. I absolutely don't get Facebook and still don't get Facebook. However, how can so many people be wrong? And this is where your target market is actually hanging out. Unfortunately, if they, the businesses, don't do anything about impressing those who frequent this large market or these platforms, it is highly unlikely that you are going to attract any customers whatsoever. However, going over its popularity, the markets themselves create a lot of frustration because you know you need to be everywhere you don't know what to do you don't know where to start each market or each platform has its own in or out or its own demographic and additionally there are many other businesses out there trying to get it right just the same as you are and wanting to attract exactly the same audience's attention so I get it that it can be extremely painful so if you don't plan how to learn the ins and outs of your market or your platform you're probably likely to end up jeopardizing your chances of any success and that's where planning comes in what I see with a lot of business owners is they get onto a platform they'll do it not correctly for a period of six months and then they'll come back and say it doesn't work that's because they haven't got any form of plan around each platform and the demographic that they're wanting to attract so if you're new to social media as a business and been trying to work out or trying trying to find ways to attract these large audiences then perhaps you need to come up with a social media strategy to guide you through everything you need to succeed so what what is it you should um, I'll start again so what is it you should do to have a powerful social media strategy? Well, let's discuss this in five simple steps. The first step, and I say this at the beginning of every Become a Social Media Manager course and classroom and workshop, know and research your audience. If you don't know or you don't take time to determine your target market, this is the crucial central part of creating a successful social media strategy. And if you don't know who they are, you need to start spending some time finding out who the top 20% of your audience or who your clients are already and getting some statistics and some background and demographic on these people. You cannot create an effective marketing plan if you don't identify the target audience. So start researching uh, your audience your existing clients find out what they like what they hate find out what they're interested in and the information that you're looking for once you understand this you can now tailor your engagement on any social media platform to be there for what that target market user wants and needs when you have this data you can easily come up with a strategy that works additionally find out which social media platforms that target market uses most for instance, each platform has its own demographic. Facebook is different from Twitter. Pinterest is different from Instagram. And for another example is like LinkedIn is predominantly, you know, um, LinkedIn is predominantly male that are actually professionals where your Facebook is predominantly female between 18 and 29. So that's the main key. Once you know that, I always actually find an avatar picture of my target market client or my potential target market client and I actually name that person so that I can now have a visual aspect of who I want to attract to my business or to my marketing. Step number two is engagement. Social media is all about engagement. Your campaign and 
In retrospect, your plan must cater for a continuous input from your audience. If you're using social media to market a service, designate one of your staff to be a social media manager. This manager has to be able to create a content that is engaging all the time. If your staff member does not have or does not know how to do this, then send them over to our Become a Social Media course where we will show them and this course is funded. Step three, check out the competition. Most people get fearful when I say this, but look at your competition and analyze their plan. Competitor analysis is central to your marketing plan, social media or any other sort of marketing that you do. Like all other forms of marketing, analyzing your competition will give you a feel of what strategies they are using, the kind of content that they're using, what they're offering to their marketplace. And you can either decide to duplicate or improve on this. You can use their information and integrate into your own plan how well that will work for you and your overall social media strategy. Step four, create value and categorize your principal topics. So what I mean by that is social media marketing is not about researching your competition and throwing in a few bits and pieces that you think should be in there to make it a little bit spicier. It's about creating value for your intended audience and the emphasis is on the value. While the status updates and the tweets play a role in your social media marketing strategy, it does not stop there. Real success in social media marketing is when you can offer your audience real value without overselling or over promoting your services and products. Ideally offer solution to an answer to frequently answered questions that people are asking you all the time in your business. Find the solution, provide the answer. It should be tailor-made, informative, educational, easy to read or listen to, as well as extremely engaging. Step number five, definitive and frequent. So this is where most business owners fail also. Unlike traditional methods of marketing where you can hard sell, Social media users don't like the hard sell. So you need to create that value engagement from step number four, quality over quantity. They do appreciate oversaturation or they do not appreciate oversaturation of, of content. So your marketing plan must aim to strike a balance if it is to have any sort of success. The best way to get this right is to trial it and then error, and error the method. So check out your insights. Make sure you know what's working and what's not working. If there's a particular time of day and a particular topic that's working really well, then keep duplicating that. You'll need to be able to look at your analytics and your insights to be able to determine how frequent your posting should be and which social media platforms may be working better than others that are you, you, you are using. A key point or take out, um, home that I would like you to think about is don't go after each social media strategy. Once you've done your target market research and you know which platforms they're on, potentially just go for one or two and master those platforms before you take on the world of social media because otherwise you'll find it too frustrating. So irrespective of what you've planned or how you want to unleash your social media strategy, your social media marketing plan must be flexible to newer methods of marketing and audience feedback. Back. If you're posting frequently and losing followers um, or audiences while doing so, then tone it down a bit and see what happens. On the other hand, if your audience is growing, um, if your audience is gobbling down your content and growing consistently and asking for more, then maybe it's time to scale up the amount of content that you're posting. Although each of the following steps um, above reflect upon your success, um, you need to really work out what's working and what's not working so that comes to tweaking and looking your analytics. You should set a feasible time of day to test your strategy out. A couple of months is okay and then come back and check out how that all went for you. During this time, implementing of the strategy you've chosen but don't be tempted to change it midway because then you won't know where you've started and stopped and what results you're trying to work out. Otherwise, you'll probably mess things up. So look, hopefully the social media strategy has been of somewhat success for you. If you're listening to this on a podcast, well, I look forward to being with you again. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more free training. My name's Leanne Peer. We offer the Become a Social Media Manager course. This is currently funded in Queensland for $85. The course is valued at $1,800. In addition to learning about the strategy, you'll actually learn about each one 
one of the platforms so that's Facebook Twitter LinkedIn etc and you'll also get 12 units of competency online this is a nationally accredited qualification which means once you've got this on your resume saying that you are and have the skills to be a social media manager you'll be in great demand you may even decide to become a social media specialist and create your own videos and teach people how to do it thanks again for watching my name's Leanne Peer don't, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video